Hello, it is Saturday. We are venturing out. Kind of gloomy today, but not really. So we are headed to our old hood, Emeryville, to hang out. I just feel like we've been stuck inside the house the past few weekends. So it just would be nice to get out like we used to. So uh, we're going to go and, I guess, try to have some ramen at our usual spot. And then her needs to pick up a couple of clothing items. So we might head over to Bay Street and uh, of course take back some food for dinner tonight. So uh, yeah, we're on our way now and it should be fun. All right, so we're at Public Market, our old hood in Emeryville, and we're at um, out eating our ramen and also a sushi burrito. There's a new sushi place here. There's a lot of new places here, actually, that look pretty good. Look at all these places when we were living here. So, there's like a new sandwich spot. There's a new, uh, like, macaroon spot. It's crazy. There's going to be a lot more new places opening up that look really good. So, uh, yeah, we're going to get started and try a sushi burrito for the first time ever. They've got their normal ramen, and we're going to, like, share. And, um, yeah, excited to try it. All right, so we're in Bay Street now. Herm's trying on some spring attire. We're inside the Uniqlo, and uh, Louie's having fun just throwing stuff in the basket, even though we're not buying everything she's throwing in. But anyway, yeah, we're here. We're gonna do a little. I'm gonna do window shopping. He's gonna buy some like long sleeve shirts and stuff. So. So we made it through Bay Street. We went to EQ3, spent our gift card that we got from Christine like a year ago, finally. Thanks, Christine. Um, we got this pillow here for our feet and um, some coasters. And then we also got some shirts for Herman at Uniqlo and H&M and also a jacket for myself. Oh, and a shirt for myself. And I went to Sephora, but I didn't buy anything. Can you believe it? I feel like I couldn't justify spending that much money on stuff that I had very similar like products to already. So, um, I don't know. Anyway, I'm sure I'll find something else. And yeah, so now we're going to head to Ranch 99 to get a little um, Asian food and do a little Asian food run. We're trying to get out of this parking garage, but it's like hella traffic in this parking garage. I forgot how busy this uh, mall got. Anyway, uh, both of the girls did really good. Like. They were pretty tired, or Livy's pretty tired, but she actually, for being a tired toddler, behaved pretty good. She's still in good spirits. Can't see because we got the big pillow here. Anyway, uh, yeah, we're going to hit up Ranch 99 and hopefully get some goodies. All right, so I just went to Ranch 99 and I got a buttload of food, um, groceries, and restocked on our Asian food supply. And then now I'm at this Taiwanese restaurant waiting for takeout, and we're gonna get that home for takeout. Um, got a bunch of food, so hopefully we'll have leftovers for that. And then I got my almond milk tea while I wait. I also got a little toy for Livy here. 50 cents. It's like an egg opening toy, so hopefully uh, she'll be happy since she was such a good girl today. Alright, so we are home now. We, um, have been waiting for the rice to cook, and so we're eating our takeout now. Herm's eating is beef noodle soup, famous Taiwanese beef noodle soup. Looks really good. And then we got our salty fish fried rice, 
some fried Taiwanese chicken, some green beans, and some tofu, and uh, we're going to be set. So the kids are over there watching TV. Hopefully they will let us eat, and yeah. We're enjoying our takeout dinner from the East Bay. Is that green bean? Mm hmm Green beans and sweet potatoes mixed together. Next up is banana. Bananas for desserts. Bananas. Banana. Green beans. Bananas. <laughs> Ooh, look at you opening up wide. All right, so it's the end of the night. We finished our dinner. Sophie had her dinner. So now we're just relaxing in front of the fire. Herm is making good use of the poof that we bought today at EQ3. He's warming his feet by the fire, and he's very pleased with the purchase. So, uh, pretty cool. And Livy's playing on her iPad. Sophie's just chilling in the saucer. And we're just hanging out. So it was a good, fun day. It's actually raining outside now, so it's kind of nice that we missed all the rain while we were out. And now that we're home and cozy, it's raining. So um, yeah, I think it's going to rain tomorrow too, but hopefully not that much because I do have to go out and do some errands tomorrow. Anyway, it's a fun day. Um, yeah, so we're not going to be doing anything else. Probably going to send the kids off to bed soon and just watch some more TV and just hang out. Hello, it is Sunday, noonish. We just finished lunch and it's like a crazy day. It's like partly sunny, partly stormy. I don't know how to explain it. Um, but yeah, we just finished our lunch here. Louie's hanging out, Sophie's in the other room taking a little nap. And I've got some soup going in the Instant Pot. I'm making my um chuk tong. It's like a dried bean curd or same stuff that tofu's made out of except it's in flat sheets. Anyway, I got the bone broth going in here, so I'm going to make that tonight, or today. And yeah, we're just going to be hanging out. I went to Target and Costco, ran some errands, got groceries, came home just in time to beat this like crazy rain session we're having. And so, oops. So, yeah, um, we're just going to hang out and watch movies. All the movies that we're going to watch, we're going to try to catch up on the Oscar movies that we didn't watch last week. So like Moonlight. Uh, fences. We watched La La Land yesterday. I did anyway. Herman fell asleep. It's good. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna hang out. All right. So package just came from Amazon. Yeah, and me and Libby just opened the box, and it's a five-in-one baby carrier from Brighter Elements. It was about forty dollars, free shipping and free returns on Amazon. So if we don't like it, we could ship it back. But the thing about this one is that it has like a wedge that the baby or toddler actually sits on so that it's not like the weight isn't all on your shoulders on the straps. It's like more on your hips. So it's supposed to be more comfortable for the baby or young child and more comfortable for the person wearing the baby or young child. So we're going to try it out. Let's see, five in one carrier. Hey, Libby, look. Oh. It's a... What is it, Libby? A baby. It's a baby. It's Daddy, you want to try it? Yeah. <laughs> he refuses to read the directions and just wants to see if he can figure out how to put it on without seeing the picture or seeing the directions. We'll see about that. Do you like it, Libby? Yeah. Yeah? Are you my Yoda? Are you <laughs> training me to be Jedi? Okay, so here, there's like... This wedge here, and it's like a thing that she can sit on. Of course, we still need to adjust it, but your butt is sitting in that instead of being like totally strapped to the back in an uncomfortable position, cutting off her leg circulation. So uh, we'll try it out. Next, we'll have to try Sophie in it to see how that works. Um, I do have the regular boba wrap that I wear Sophie in a lot, but she can only face inward. Uh, when I'm using that and so I wanted to experiment with a carrier that I could actually have her face outward um, for and I didn't want to get the regular baby Bjorn because there's a lot of like I guess articles that I've seen that show that it's not very good for the baby's hips there's not a lot of hip support and so this having that wedge there that the baby can actually sit on is actually better for the hips better for the person wearing the baby there's more support on the back and stuff so I uh, thought I'd try it out. It's only 40 bucks. There's some carriers that are like $200. Like, oh my gosh. I don't know why they're $200, but 
I mean, I don't know. We'll find out. This one might actually suck once we get into wearing it, and I'll be like, oh, yeah, I should have sprung for the $200 one. All right, so um, I finished with my bone broth, and I've transferred the bone broth, skimmed out the fat, put the bone broth into a pot, put the fukjuk, the um, flattened bean curd, in there and some dates and I'm soaking some mushrooms now because I forgot to soak them earlier. I'm gonna add the mushrooms in after they've soaked. I'm gonna chop them up and put them in and then just let it simmer for the rest of the day and it should be delicious and ready by dinner time. Livy, have stickers? Yeah. Yay, are you gonna stick the stickers onto the um onto the card? Okay. So I got these cards from Target at the dollar spot section and it's basically just an activity like cardboard and then it comes with a bunch of these stickers and then she can just stick the stickers on the cardboard for a dollar and that's her newest craze is just taking stickers and sticking them somewhere else Watch it. oh okay let's see you stick it on the nice good job Livy thank you <laughs> Welcome. All right, welcome. Sunday hot pot. You know when it rains, we gotta do our hot pot. So we're Good here, heart. we got our meats, our veggies, and our rice is done cooking. So we got to grub it. And my soup came out really, really good. The um, fuchsia tongue, oh, just like I remember it. So super easy. And I'm gonna make that like all the time, thanks to the pressure cooker. Y and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, one soup playing with me. Yeah! Alright, it's the end of the night, end of the weekend. I just cleaned up the kitchen after our dinner. Fed Sophie her solid food and got her ready for bed. Herman's upstairs getting Livy bathed and ready for bed. And so it's the end of the weekend and um, that's about it. So yeah, not much going on today. Uh, we did watch Moonlight and we watched uh, La La Land today. So we are caught up mostly on the Oscar movies. I think there's like fences that we still need to watch. So. Anyway, both movies are pretty good. So it was a nice relaxing time and we are just going to get ready for bed now because it's the beginning of another work week. So I guess uh, we'll call it a vlog. So until next weekend, bye.